So for you guys who have not been following me on Instagram, I just want to tell you what's what we're running on this truck. So we are now running the rocket motor. This is the 4092 uh, motor that's in here. Thanks to Vass about that. I was looking to run the ESC and motor combo from uh, Team Corrali and decided not to. Uh, Vass had shot me a message, said, hey, you may want to up that motor, and I did. I uh, went with the longer can, and it is performing great. ESC, I still went ahead with the Team Corral ESC, and it's running well. As for the servo, I believe it's one of those that I got from Amazon. High torque, high speed servo on this, and it's performing well. It's moving these big meats, and I do enjoy them. Uh, but that's it. That is everything that we have in this truck. I'm running this with a Spectrum. Uh, receiver a spectrum my, off my spectrum transmitter and we're, we're loving this 16 tooth pinion that comes with the truck uh, really enjoying this as you guys can see it is collecting a lot of grass hi guys ready set rc and today we got the habao hyper mt plus two out on the first run as you guys see i'm not running the stock wheels and tires on here i'm actually rock, rocking the uh, duratrack six packs on here for t for the first run. Uh, running it on 6S, want to see how this thing can do. Um, really anticipating this truck. I've really been dying to get this truck out. Uh, got it all finished up. Hopefully you guys have been following me on Instagram. So, you know, I've been doing a lot of the uh, updates there. But we're gonna get this truck out and for the first run and see how I can do. Enjoy the video. Enjoy the video, guys. Ho oh, ho, an animal. I think it's pulling to one side. Yeah, it's pulling to the left. Much better. Wow, this thing is an animal. Grass is a little high and it's wet, so I won't abuse it too much today. But I want to see what it can do. It was at this moment that he knew he f***ed up. Much better. Oh, damn it. What the hell happened? Uh. 
Wow, the whole body just shattered. There's no way There's no way it died on me. And it did. Ah, oh, damn. I think it did, and these tires ripped right off. <sighs> All right. Well, that's it, guys. First run in the books. Looks like my batteries just died out on me. Uh, I thought these were fully charged packs before I came out, but um, I did have them sitting for a little bit, so maybe that is the reason behind it, because it's been a tough one up here. Uh, trying to get a good run out. It's been either hot really extremely hot days raining when I'm off or available to run so Been struggling trying to get this truck out So these packs have been charged for a while and chances are they may have been failing or they're they're older packs So chances are they they just may be done but uh, that that being said still had some carnage and <laughs> the body Completely hopefully you guys can see that completely shattered on me now, I didn't reinforce this body. I thought it would hold up. It was pretty thick plastic, pretty good thick plastic, but I'm going to have to do some, some maintenance to try to get it back to what it was at some point. And other than that, it did perform well. I did enjoy how this truck was running. So it looks like it could have just been the battery connector that was causing the problem. Because it's back. And I'm not gonna make do any jumps with it at this point. I'm just gonna rip it around. Stuff up these springs. It looks like it's blowing the tires off. That tire's red. I'm not just running it up. There we go. Get some wheelies in.
That's it, guys. LBC. So that's it, guys. So I think I found out what the power issue was on the truck. It was the battery connector. So my XT90 connector on this one right here was a little loose. And uh, that's what actually was the, the, the issue with the power. Um, nothing with the batteries, nothing with the ESC. This truck performed well. Uh, as you guys did see, the tires did come unglued in the front. I think it was one side or both sides? No, just one side. Just this one tire over here came unglued. Uh, but that was a great run, guys. Um, didn't get to hit it off the ramps because I just wanted to test it out and really just rip it after having that first set of issues that went with it. So um, I think it performed well. I mean, so far, the only thing that I would change out is I may change these springs. I did buy the stiffer springs, the orange springs for this. So I may use those. I'm going to see how these perform a little bit more. I did go down a little bit more on the shock collars. Um, here in the front and I'm gonna try that for a little bit more plus out here it's just way too lush guys I think you guys can see that with all the water wicking up and everything and you can see the height of where the truck tires are on the grass here so ah, I don't know I, as I said it's been really bad up here and maybe it's you know the grass is a little bit overgrown with all the rain and everything else that we've been having up here in the Northeast but um, this was a great run with the truck. Really did enjoy it. Um, going to do some a little bit more changing out and seeing what other tires I have in my collection to see if I can swap them out. But I liked how these performed. I just wanted to see what else I have and how it would perform on this truck. But we're going to leave it here, guys. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Check us out on Instagram for our latest posts on the channel. This is Ready Set RC. Signing out. Thanks again, guys.